Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Good. Yeah? Okay, can we all stand real quick? Okay, because I'm a little tired. Let's all stretch our hands up. Come on, high school. Let me see you do it. Be good leaders. Okay, now everyone go down low. Okay, shake it, shake it, shake it. Appropriately. Okay. Now go to your left. Go to your right. the love of your name. Increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Hebrews. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them. Those who are being tortured, as though you yourselves were being tortured. Let marriage be held in honor by all, and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of the way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to the God. The word of the Lord. I wasn't 
wasn't sure if I was doing the gospel reading or if someone else was doing the gospel reading. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Yeah, no. And then everyone stand as we do the reading. On one occasion when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of, a, of the Pharisee to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose the place of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the, at the place of honor, in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. And the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, Give this person your place. And then in disgrace you will start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher, then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. He said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, in case they may invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Well, good morning, everyone. It's so good to be here today, and I am glad that you are here. Is everyone having a good week so far? Well, that didn't sound like it was a good week. Are we having a good week so far? Yeah! Okay, I like that. That sounds a lot better. It sounds, a lot, it sounds like we're waking up a little bit. Yeah? Okay. So, have you ever found yourself in a position where it seemed like everyone was staring at you? You walk into a room, and it's like everyone goes, What? Who is this person? What are they doing here? Why, why did someone invite Sometimes, I think, school feels that way. Did y'all ever feel that way on the first day of school? Yeah. You walk in, especially the young folks, or if you're new to Calvary, maybe you walked in and everyone's already friends, but you're new and you're like, oh, do I belong here? Is this place here for me? Or maybe you are a performer. How many of you guys like to sing or play an instrument or are in sports or something like that where people are watching you do something? Do you ever get really nervous? Like your hands start shaking, you start sweating, you're like, I really need some water, I can't, I can't talk. I feel that way too when I come up here. So if I'm shaking, that's what's going on, I'm just nervous. Or maybe it's when you just walk into any other new place restaurant, or church, or anywhere, right? We, we get this feeling that people are staring at us. There's one particular time that I remember feeling that way, and it wasn't just one place, it was a set of places, and I was interviewing for a job. Have you guys ever interviewed for a job? No. Thank goodness you haven't done that yet. Man, you have? Okay, maybe some of the high schoolers have. I don't know. Got to get that job. Got to get that cash. You know what I'm saying? But, right, so we go in front of these people. So this was after my undergraduate college. So I just graduated college. I was excited to get into the workplace and start earning some money and doing things for my own. And I had all of this training that I did. I did school. I did internships. I did summer camps because I wanted to be in ministry, right? I wanted to work in the church. Not necessarily as a priest just yet, but I wanted to work in the church. That's where I was feeling God calling me. And I had done all of these things to get prepared for this thing. And every interview was a disappointment. Either it felt like I wasn't prepared, or at the end they said no. And I, and I couldn't understand that. Why were these people thinking that? I did everything I was supposed to do. I was the best at what I was supposed to do. I 
did all the training. I did all the summer camps. I did all the internships. I was the best. How did they not see that? How did they not see that? Because they were all looking at me. They were all looking at me. But they didn't see it. So the thing, though, that I thought was really interesting, and it took me a long time to figure this out, was that I needed to find some humility. My pride and arrogance were blocking the view of the wonderful characteristics that I had, the wonderful things that I had to offer. Who knows what humility means? You do? No, look out. Who knows what, you know what humility means? Going up in front of people that you don't know and you get scared? Uh, maybe. I mean, there, there's some, some of that is in there. Okay, what's humility for you? set you free of the pride and arrogance that 
is within you, and that you would be nourished with goodness and bring forth the fruit of good works. Amen? Sing. Let's all stand up. We will sing a song together. Bless the Lord. That's the one. All right. I can see, I can see, I can see. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Sun comes up, sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. You're rich in love and slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord of my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. And on that. My time has come, still my soul will sing your praise, heart and king. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship this holy name. Sing like that. Your holy name, worship your holy name. Very good. Let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who 
trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Give to the departed eternal rest. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others, either silently or aloud. Amen. Let us say our school prayer together. O eternal God, bless our school, how great it is school, that it may be a lively center for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. September 2nd, and we miss you, please come up because there's only four on here. So first, from Pre-K-3, Stella Gonzalez. And then from fifth grade, we have Ben Doggett. And then from ninth grade, we have Brayden Munoz. And then from first grade, we have David N. Weiser. Happy birthday. Are we missing anyone? Anybody? Anybody? Teachers? Parents? Angels? No? Yeah. All right. Let's pray. Here's what I want everyone to do, though. I want you to reach out your arms like you're praying for them, too. Can we do that? Right here, though. Point them towards them. <laughs> Good. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for these four wonderful students your children. We pray that you would give them a wonderful year as they live and move and have their being. May they honor and glorify you in all that they do. And may you continue to build and uh, to bless them in all of their ways. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Uh, Dr. Fondon, do you have any announcements? This yes, week? I do. Good morning, Crusaders. Good morning. Good morning. So guys, let me tell you what. It, hasn't it been like the most amazing three weeks? Has it been three weeks? And then when you're having fun, you just lose track of time, right? And you guys have been working so hard that I'm going to let you all take Monday off. <laughs> Closing hymn. It is all praise to me, so everyone stay. 